I'm very excited about in this season is that, uh, you know, I'm working with Param. Deeply uh, emotional show. The film that went to the Oscars this year from India is also written in flux. Hi, this is Nikhil Madhuk. Hi, this is Konkana Sen Sharma. Hi, this is Mohan Mehta. Hi, I'm Shreya Dhanmantri and you're watching us all on IWMBuzz.com. Hi guys, this is Manisha and welcome to IWM Buzz. Today I have with me the talented star cast and producer of Mumbai Diary Season 2. Welcome to IWM Buzz and congratulations on Season 2. Thank you. First of all, I want to know from the cast of the Season 2, uh, how has your characters evolved in Season 2 and what is unique this time? My character got a promotion. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, she after was... After all a, the good work she did. After all the good, exactly. <laughs> so, she was a field reporter in the first season. Now, she gets promoted to prime time like TV news anchor which is actually a very coveted spot if you are in the journalist program yes. so I mean she does that and she ruins a lot of lives again <laughs> but then she <laughs> course corrects again so that's kind of cool I'll get, I'll get that type to think. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I'm playing Chitra Das, who's the head of the social mm. services. She's the social services director of this uh, hospital. She's not a doctor. Um, I think in this season, we just del we have given glimpses of her past. We know that there's, you know, some issues mm. that she's dealing with, like all the other characters. But it's just that in this season, we kind of get into it a little more and we get deeper into it without actually saying what it is or why, <laughs> what happens. Um, but what I'm very excited about this season is that, uh, you know, I'm working with Param. Uh, uh, yes. who's, who's been my co-star for, you know, quite a few Bengali films. We've worked together in the past and we have a wonderful equation. Um, and we have, even in this season, we have a great equation. So in that sense, we really get to, we, first we, when we see Chitra, we see her that she's kind of, you know, relaxed and come into her own. She's a little more comfortable in this world of Bombay General Hospital, etc. And then again, there's a fresh crisis, there's a fresh setback in her personal life, in the professional life, mm. of course, with, you know, what she's dealing with. And then again, how she comes out of it. So it was actually... It's like a homecoming, <laughs> you know, in some ways, because I have never done a sequel before. Yes. It's the first time I'm returning oh. to a character. It's great. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I really yeah. love it because, you know, That's I felt this is done. So, <laughs> you know, you're just coming back and yeah. building. You're not building something from scratch. So yeah, actually, yeah. for me also, I've never done a sequel. So, it's uh, interesting. Right. You also? Yeah. Yeah. You have? Yeah. Hey, please, yeah. What of a Mahadev. Sequel thodi tha. That is 100 sequels, no? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that will 1000 sequels. <laughs> So, I mean, the series, like eight episodes, uh -huh. the gap of two years, mm. that kind of a thing. Mm. So, while she was narrating, and I was thinking the arc of uh, Dr. Koshik O'Brien's second season is very interesting mm. because, uh, on a personal front, he's expecting a baby and he's really happy mm. with his wife. And uh, the second, the, in, on professional front, he's at the back foot because he's out of job right now and he can't really operate mm. because of the legal battle that he's fighting. So, I can, there was an interesting arc in that how. He has to be very, uh, you know, uh, very calm and uh, frustrated also at the same time and he has to be happy also at home because his wife is expecting and at the same time he doesn't need to show her that, you know, I really want to go back where I belong. So that was quite an interesting thing to portray and I hope it turns out well. Amazing. Uh, my, my arc hasn't changed from the <laughs> <laughs> It's continued to be mo mo motivating Nikhil and Rani, inspiring him. That's been my job. <laughs> Nikhil said from you, I want to know, like in producing season two, uh, what were the challenges that you faced creatively and logistically? Um, so, interestingly, the, the creative challenges comparatively were lesser because uh, when we were writing the first season of the show, uh, we realized that, um, you know, there is a story which is beyond just the events of season mm. one because, uh, you know, you're creating this world of uh, Bombay General Hospital, mm. these, you know, wonderful characters uh, and really going deep into their personal journeys, their professional journeys and we felt that that's a story or a narrative that could actually move to uh, season two and especially after the season one received so much love it became a very organic decision mm. to take this forward uh, sort of creatively. Uh, obviously, we, we needed to find a new challenge for uh, the cast and, you know, these characters. Uh, and this is what you see, which is uh, very unique to Mumbai, the excessive mm. Mumbai rains and the floods that, uh, that happens. And it's a challenge which uh, they have to grapple while they're still grappling with the after effects of the first season. Uh, I think logistically it was uh, tougher mm. because just to create this uh, world not only of this very authentic looking hospital but just a hospital which is being ravaged by the floods 
it's not uh, sort of easy to do at all. It's, uh, uh, you know, from a production point of view, it's a really, really mammoth exercise. And even for the cast and crew to be able to work in mm -hmm. such an environment and deliver their best, <laughs> really, you know, cute kudos to everybody. Uh, so uh, at the end of the uh, second season, you know, what's, what's extremely satisfying is that Creatively, of course, it's a great story, but also in terms of production and logistics, mm -hmm. what they've managed to pull off is is, is quite incredible. Amazing. Uh, in shooting in rain with uh, like water coming over you, how was that? How difficult was shooting? You'll actually have to ask them because yeah. I was in a studio, so I was quite cushy. I didn't have <laughs> much. No, really. I don't know how they shot in the hospital because they had to yeah. deal with a lot more they, water. They really so. enjoyed themselves. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, it was a fun process because I realized because when the real incident happened, I was there only for a few hours and then you took the shade, hmm. you know. Uh, but we were there for three days and the water used to be, they used to change the water uh, every day. The tankers would come in, the water would go out and the tankers would come. The, more, the tricky part was when they had to shift the cars and <laughs> angles, <laughs> like, you know. When, when you were in the street? No, no. Yeah, Street, yeah, no? yeah. So the crane would come in, mm. then crane would pick the car, then change the position <laughs> of the car. So and you're all in the same water. All, all, on the same water. Nice, so yeah. all it had to be planned in a way that okay, when all the vehicles are this way, let's take these shots. Uh -huh. Then we'll turn around the vehicle. Nightmare. Yeah, and there was very less. You know, you couldn't improvise much. Hmm. Sir, I'm here. See, he was like, no, no. Then I have to call the crane. <laughs> let's not do this. Yeah. So that was very, but it was fun. It was fun. Amazing. It's not easy, you know, to <laughs> yeah. shoot in the rain. And, you know, I'm just thinking now that for us, what was not easy to shoot, you know, in like artificial circumstances, can you, Im I mean, I can't even imagine yeah, the that yeah. these, as the we always say, our frontline workers, our mm. heroes, how they work. Yeah. Because even just communicate the sound of the rain, then where you're talking, suddenly there's something leaking over here, the floors are wet, people are wiping, you can't hear anything. No. Some dialogues we had to re-record yeah. also because of all that. Yes. Sometimes we're doing some bits with some flooding or whatever, little under, like we're in water actually. And it's not like we're in, I can't swim. And it's not like we're in a water in a pool. Yeah. <laughs> right? We're in a water supposedly in some basement of the hotel or the street. You can see there tablets are cars, floating by. Tablets are floating. There are chairs and tables. Yeah. <laughs> You're also in the water. So it was not the easiest, as he said, logistically. So yeah. amazingly, they pulled it off. The team was just amazing. But it was fun. Nice. Speak oh. for yourself. <laughs> I was terrified. We <laughs> normally go to the forest and go to the forest and then go to the forest. It's also difficult. Yeah. Yeah. So this was like uh, extremely difficult. <laughs> Too much. Uh, when we talk about such intense uh, drama, when you were shooting, how was it to unwind after filming this intense drama? There's nothing called Welcoming. word on <laughs> unwind in, in the first season also because the, the series is such, yes. it's quite demanding yeah. physically also and emotionally also. Hmm. And same as was for the for second season two also. So we really didn't have like, we wouldn't like sit and have lunch together or party. Yeah, I have not why. I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, she was the only one. Odd one she has scene. great like that. Yeah, yeah because yeah. she'll always either she'll come to the van or she'll collect people. I will yeah. collect people. together. Correct. She'll collect people. She's the collector. It's great. We should, yeah. It's such a nice yeah, thing. Yeah, because they're doing something yeah, like so taxing. You know, but no, a lot of the time we're like, oh, where's the rope? Give me the towel. And I'm like, 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 i and uh, that was in front of him when he's, you know, trying to explain you. He doesn't really like too many distractions. <laughs> but with her, she's the Free odd pass. one out. Yeah, yeah. She <laughs> yeah. comes and enjoys and she's, she's vanished. <laughs> yeah. And all of us are like, what were we talking about? <laughs> nice. Uh, Nikhil, sir, from you, I want to yeah. know what went behind the research of uh, a Mumbai Diary season two? Actually, uh, you know, I'll be honest, all the research was uh, Nikhil and his team. Mm -hmm. uh, I think on a, when you're creating an authentic medical drama, uh, it's also more than a medical drama, actually, but just to make sure that uh, you know it comes across as authentic to our viewers. Uh, the amount of research both in season 1 and season 2, not only just to get the medical terms right, the procedures right, um, the emotions that the doctors are going through, the emotions that the pa patients are going through, it's, you know, it's tremendous because in any story like this, the moment you feel uh, you know, even one beat is off, uh, people can realize that this, mm. doesn't feel, this doesn't feel sort of uh, correct. Uh, and also mm -hmm. there was a different aspect of the research 
in terms of the second season where how did the floods affect mm. the city uh, we we don't realize but you know the actual events are almost like um, more than 15 16 years ago and to go back to that time and see you know what happened to that city was a completely different kind of research and and then how it would affect a medical establishment uh, so uh, very extensive work uh, but you know the beauty is that the extensive work now shows on screen mm. and that's what makes this story so gripping so emotional and and uh, you know very real um, it's it's something that we are very proud of अमेजिंग लाइक हम लोग बोलते हैं दैट डॉक्टर्स भगवान होते हैं तो हाउ हैज दिस परसेप्शन चेंज फॉर यू गाइज वेन यू एक्चुअली प्लेड डॉक्टर्स बिकॉज माई फादर वॉज अ डॉक्टर सो सिंस आई वॉज वेरी स्मॉल आई ऑलवेज न्यू हाउ इम्पॉर्टेंट ही वॉज बिकॉज एट दैट टाइम आई रिमेम्बर ही वॉज पोस्टेड आउटस्कर्ट्स ऑफ कश्मीर इन अ विलेज सो ऑल द विलेजेस वुड कम आउट यू नो कम टू हिस्स कम टू आर प्लेस टू कॉल हिम इन द मिडल ऑफ द नाइट यू नो सर प्लीज आई सो आई वॉज वेरी स्मॉल आई वॉज टू वंडर वेर इज यू गोइंग एट यू नो ट्वेल्व ओ क्लॉक इन द मॉर्निंग और टू ओ क्लॉक एंड वेन ही वुड रिटर्न थ्रू हिज बॉडी लैंग्वेज आई वुड अंडरस्टैंड वट वॉज द कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ वट हैड हैपन सो आई हैव ग्रोन इन दैट एटमोसफियर सो आई ऑलवेज न्यू अंडरस्टूड द वैल्यू ऑफ द बिकॉज आई टू गो टू हिज क्लिनिक ऑल्सो आई टू गो विद हिम टू हॉस्पिटल ऑल्सो यू नो वन ही वॉज वर्किंग so i always knew that what is the importance of medical fraternity for human being yeah. so because i was in lucknow so they took yeah, care of me for a for a month for a 40 days yeah. i was in the hospital so i think doctors are really they are really gods really <laughs> yeah. yeah. undoubtedly amazing what is the name of the specialist doctor who provides medical care to children pediatrician pediatrician yeah. <laughs> What type of doctor specializes in di- diagnosis and treatment of mental health conditions psychologist psychiatrist, psychiatrist. 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 What type of doctor can prescribe, prescribe medication? medication? Psychologist can. Oh, uh, what type of doctor specializes in treating diseases of skin, hair, and nails? Dermatologist. We love these. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do. And you guys are like, "Pro." Yeah, pro. 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 Who would you consult for issues related to hormonal imbalance and disorder of endocrinologist? Yes, correct. Oh correct. God, that's true. Hormonal things. मतलब बस एक भी ऐसा नहीं है जो आप लोगों को नहीं पता है. Oh, बस खत्म. What type of doctor focuses on the treatment of allergies and immune system disorders? Immunologist. Immunologist. Yeah. Oh, what are you talking about? मुझे लगा ये नहीं पता है और फिर मैं सोचा कि logically तो बता ही देंगे. Okay. Lastly, the doctor specializes in the care of women during pregnancy. Obstetrician or gynecologist? Yes. O B G Y N. O B. Okay. On final note, uh, tell us one one reason why uh, audience should watch Mumbai Diaries season two. I guess because they are given so much love uh, to season one, they are desperately waiting to watch season two. And I think uh, thrill is the element. They'll, you know, it's thrilling. Yeah, it's bigger, better. Wetter. <laughs> Wetter. <laughs> <laughs> and also because I think like many people, of course, this is going out to I don't know some 240 countries or something. Yes. Yeah. But uh, uh, but like like so many people in India can relate to like not at the level of monsoon that Bombay has, mm. but even like you know just floods and rains are mm. something that we experience all over the country, not just Mumbai. Uh, considering mm. our the film that went to the Oscars this year from India is also related to floods, so we're in good company. <laughs> I mean the kind of response sorry sorry please please no i'm not going to be able to top bigger better better so <laughs> <laughs> are we talking about mumbai diaries or <laughs> <laughs> the kind of response that we got from the trailer hmm i that's amazing yeah. that really shows that how much people are waiting for yeah. season 2 yeah. i was I also not so. expecting such kind such a uh, amazing response amazing so you want to add something no i think it's a deeply uh, emotional show but at the same mm. time it's also the way it's written in screenplay and the way nikhil has directed it it's also a very thrilling show uh, so you're going to take something from it but at the same time while you're watching it uh, you know it, you want to keep you know watching again and again keep going forward mm. it it achieves this balance very very beautifully um, and you know i hope the audience is also see that when the show releases amazing thank you so much thank guys you. it was thank lovely you. speaking to you thank, thank you so much